Bitcoin is once again getting its pump on with price action spicier than this bowl of jalapeno peppers. And for the past week, we have been expecting Bitcoin to revisit that $38,200 level. I've been expecting this all week, making videos about it, live streaming my trades with the take profits at $38,200. And a huge shout out to the Casper Crew VIP Discord, taking the dang long trade from 35.5, a very juicy profit, taking the long trade once again from 36400 juicy profit and then of course the juicy long idea that is currently playing out right now as we are hitting new highs however i still remain bullish on this bitcoin chart expecting another high to be put in and today i'm going to be telling you exactly why i'm looking for higher prices my exact targets and plans so make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest bitcoin updates here on youtube this is a very significant level and we need to paint a little picture here of the larger context Bitcoin has officially broken out of this $30,000 multi-year support resistance flip. Very, very significant because during the bull market, Bitcoin had established a fair value between the price of $55,000 and about $30,000. Now, whenever you see price start to establish a fair value zone, and then it loses that fair value zone, and then comes back inside that fair value zone, it's much more probable than not that we will see the price fill that fair value zone. This is literally what we saw during the last bull market. We came above the zone, got to move to the downside. Came below the zone, got to move to the upside. Came above the zone, got to move back to the downside. Tried to bounce, but then we lost it. So now that we're back inside this zone, this is why you have people calling for a $54,000 Bitcoin because, well, that's just the top of the zone. Now, as we come down to the four hour, we are seeing something else. The Bitcoin price is trading in this tightly wound ascending channel. And as we're doing so, we're seeing the momentum waves and the money flow getting lower on market cipher B. Now, this is known medically as a Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boob pattern because as the price is getting higher, Sam Bankman Fried's nipples are getting lower. Check this out. We can actually superimpose Sam Bankman Fried's chest onto the chart, and we can see that it literally lines up perfectly with what's happening on market cipher B. Would you even look at that? So, what do these two bits of information mean? A macro bullish chart and a local more bearish chart. It means that yes, the Bitcoin price is very bullish on these higher term timeframes, but we need to be prepared for a pullback, right? Doesn't mean we're gonna get one right now, but we can't be long in Bitcoin like Janet Yellen running through the woods with a laundry basket on her head with super toned abs because she bought the six second abs as seen on TV and got a six pack in only six seconds. She didn't do anything for the triple chin though. And she also has a bearish divergence on her face, showing us that we need to be prepared for a little bit of a pullback. And again, the reason I'm saying this is not because I'm a Bitcoin bear. It's not because I don't want higher Bitcoin prices. It's because I'm a technical trader. I trade what the charts tell me. And when we see the upside down Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boot pattern, historically speaking, it has led to a 20% move to the downside, even for the last year of this crazy uptrend. Okay, let's take a look at the last time we printed the Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boot pattern. It was right over here in July of 2023, and it resulted in a 20% drop to the downside. The time before that, we printed the bearish Sam Bankman Fried man boot pattern right over here, and it led to a 20% move to the downside over the course of the next few weeks. The time before that was right over here. We printed that bearish Sam Bankman Fried man boot pattern on market cipher B, Bam, about a 17% move to the downside. Now, I want to tell you and show you something encouraging about all of these upside down Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boot patterns. They provide us with the pullback opportunity to get into a very, very juicy long trade. Okay, in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, we longed 20K, we longed also 25K because these were key zones of support after the Sam Bankman Fried bearish man boot pattern has played out giving us a higher low in an uptrend to then look for higher Bitcoin prices. So the question is, first of all, if we get this pullback, which I do believe is coming, it might not be right away because sometimes here's the thing, like in this instance, we ranged here while forming the man boot pattern, got a little move to the downside, but then we got one last big pump before coming down. Same deal, right? Range forming the bearish pattern, one last pump before actually coming down. Other times, we simply just range and form the pattern and then come down. So I'm not saying to short now. I'm not telling anybody what to do as far as trades go. This is more preparation for my next major swing long trade. Because when we look at this chart, we are making higher lows and higher highs. Meaning, if we get a pullback, which inevitably will come, if we look for that higher low, well, this could set us up 
for a massive long trade, taking us potentially to the, these bullish targets that people have. So where's that next major support going to come in? Well, for me, if we just take a Fibonacci from that last low to our current high, we can see that the 618 Fibonacci is coming in right around $29,000. Now, also that $29,000 level is the bottom of the fair value zone. All right, now this is very, very significant because when you get a breakout of a level, it's not considered a true breakout unless we come back down for a retest, right? We want proof that what the market considered to be resistance all throughout the bear market is now once again going to be support just like it was during the bull market. And the way we do that is we wait for price to come back down to retest that level. Just look at what's happened here in the past, right? We break out of the orange resistance. We come down for the retest, new high right? We break out of this other orange resistance, come back down for a retest, new high. So why would we not expect this pattern to continue? And so if we can come back down to that $29,000 zone, then in my opinion, this would allow us to get into a very juicy long trade that we could take all the way up to around that forty-eight dollars to $55,000 level. Also, guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins, I highly recommend you check out my go-to exchange, MEXC, because the fees are so dang low. 0% limit order fees, 0.02% taker order fees. The best deal on fees on the internet right now. Link in the pinned comment and description. Also, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where every single day we give the trade setups like this juicy long and like this juicy long and like the long trade that's currently playing out right now, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. Go ahead and click the link to join the VIP community. This is literally the best value you will get in any trading community out there for the best price. Also, if you want to get educated, check out the courses, guys. We currently have Black Friday 50% off sales in the description of this video, including this very cheap course. I think it's like 40 bucks with the coupon code. This is my scalping strategy that I used to make literally $25,000 over the course of 30 days. Check it out if you're interested. Definitely, definitely some juicy stuff. Links in the pinned comment and description if interested. And so this brings us back to our current Bitcoin price action. How will we know when we can expect a major pullback? Well, it's very, very simple. Obviously, if you're prepared for levels like this one, you can take short scalp trades as long as you know what you're doing and you take profits early and mitigate that risk as soon as possible. But for day traders, for more swing traders, what we need to do right now is we need to wait for some kind of change in market structure. What do I mean by that? I mean, we need to start making some kind of a lower low on this chart, taking out these lows from here, right? Notice the last few times we've gotten that rejection from the high, we've been unable to make a lower low. We've made higher lows this entire time, which is bullish market structure. As soon as you form a lower low on the chart, this tips you off that potentially the actual reversal is in and our good friend SBS man boobs are about to play out, which means then we can look to short a lower high. So if we start to take out some of these lows, then we can look for a retracement back to the golden pocket where we can once again be looking for upside down sandbag midfreed on some of those lower time frames. And then we can say, you know what, maybe this is actually the short trade that's going to take us down to our retest so that then we can get in from that 30 ish thousand dollar level and enter into that juicy juicy long trade so we take it one step at a time we look at what the charts are doing in real time and we use that information to make a decision that will allow us to profit in these markets all right y'all that is it for today's video i do pray everybody listening to my voice is blessed in the name of jesus yeshua the messiah even if you are not religious i still pray you and your family are super blessed and i will see everybody in the next video peace